Mm, good morning. Seems like these afternoon naps aren't really affecting my nightly sleep anymore. Here this coming week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, somewhere in there maybe. Uh, we're going to get on the skateboard. What we're going to do first is... Uh, you know, because for me, the skateboard is the end game. So I don't want to get on it early, fall, fuck myself up because I'm impatient and rushing the process. And it's like, no, I've done this, you know. I've gone years without being able to touch my skateboard. I've gone months without being able to touch my skateboard. I've gone weeks. I've gone days and I've gone hours. So um, to me, it's like, yeah, it's all I think about is skating and, and getting these, uh, you know, incredible, incredible fucking feelings. But I, I would just rather wait, you know, I'd rather wait and be able to keep those feelings and not have any extra pain added to it. So I have several boards built just for, uh, you know, just for not even pushing, just for carving, just for getting on, I call it hot lava, you know, don't touch the ground, you can't touch the ground, you can't push, because, uh, you know, years ago, I had, my hip pain was so bad, I had bursitis in my, in both my hips, and I couldn't even push, so I built several boards just to fucking rock back and forth, heels and toes, and, uh, and, and just be able to maneuver and build my abs, so, we're going to be taking several of those boards to the church parking lot. Uh, I have one board that you can't even, you can't ollie. You can't, you can't tap the nose or the tail on the ground. It's just impossible. You're not doing no tricks. It's just made for carving. It's called a polarizer. So it's a uh, modern 50 skateboard. Um, it'll probably be in rotation of two or three uh, in the lineup, but. Probably going to be taking my rebarbie first. Got 85A wheels on it. Nice black asphalt. It's going to just cruise smooth. Trucks are loose on all my boards. So turning is uh, not a problem. And that's one of my biggest things. I got to fucking turn. You know, I, I in order to control a skateboard, I like my truck super loose. And you'd think that it's hard to control it when they're super loose. But it's just easier for me. I get more balance. So, um... I'm feeling that, you know, that's going to be good for rocking back and forth and just like twisting the rest of this fucking gas pain out in these knots. Um, so yeah, I think this coming week we're going to start adding that, you know, at least try it once, see how it goes. Um, but I'm feeling that now, I'm getting closer and closer. Yeah, you know, as the progression comes, the videos change, um... As far as the rehab, because I'll be adding different uh, techniques and just different things to the routine. Because, uh, you know, before before the hospital, I was five miles in the morning, start the day, um, get on with my day. And then it was either bike or skate, bike or skate, pick one of those two cardios. And, uh, of course, I pick skating all the time because... Um, that's my favorite, but I would ride my bike to the skate park, get my legs warmed up, skate, ride my bike back home with sore legs. So I kill two birds with one stone. And, uh, if you're adding all three, you know, the steps have to be cut down, um, just for my knees. You know, it'd be nice if I could... Do what I was doing before, but get to 20,000 steps. But 20,000 steps is really, it's its hard. You know, you're talking, uh, you know, for me, uh, four or five hours. Just straight fucking walking, you know. In the mornings, I don't mind. It goes by quick. You know, three hours, four hours like that. And uh, I feel like I get so much accomplished in that small amount of time. And, uh, yeah, my new coin phrase is, uh, fuck the internet. I left my phone at home. That's so why I told my buddy, he texted me the other day and he's just like having this fucking erotic issue with like 
being on social media and listening to these fucking group chats and with all these fucking opinions and advice from other people. And I told him, I was like, dude, you can't listen to anybody that's saying anything about what they're doing that's going to help you do what you're doing. You're totally different. Your body's different. Your DNA is different. You need to get all that shit tested. See what's good that goes in your body. See what's good that needs to come out of your body. And fucking stick to that protocol. Um... An experiment. That's it. You know, you can't... Oh, this person eats this smoothie every day and uh, it'll help me. No, it won't. You, it may fucking... You may be allergic to blueberries and you don't even fucking know. And next thing you know, you're fucking... Got all these issues, so... It's, uh... You gotta figure out what fits your... You know, what fits your fuel. And what fuels your fitness. You, know, you got to figure that shit out for not wanting to uh, do the work and and go through several steps like I do uh, just go to this website called insidetracker.com fucking go there pay the fucking five six hundred dollars get your fucking test and start there that's a good start point for anybody figure out all your levels and uh, they will even guide you on what you should do um, but that's what I would recommend for people, you know, don't, don't do exactly what I'm doing because I'm different than you. You just got to uh, figure it out for yourself. You know, I wish everybody could do the exact same thing that I'm doing. That'd be great, but, uh, you can't. All right, way too much gabbing on Tola. I got to get the wipe in and, uh, get this fucking green drink in my gut. I got the little, little swollen lump here where the belly button drain was. But it's getting there. It's slowly going away. A little chilly. The sun's still trying to come up. Moon's way over there today. Let's see, moving around. I'm still sore, but I'm not as sore as yesterday, that's for sure. Jesus. Yesterday was just fucking shredded. Let's kick this day in high gear.
ready? I'm gonna walk around town, go over to the farmer's market, see if my uh, kimchi lady's there, and uh, get these steps in. Ooh, grind those ledges. Empty town, seven in the morning. It's nice. Let's go left. Good morning. Got your fresh kimchi? Yes. Spicy? Uh, medium. Medium today? I don't mix too spicy. Yeah. I can't eat it. I like it spicy. Okay, well, um, I'll come back after my walk and I'll get some. Right. Thank you. All right, let's go do some hills, get these steps in. You. Smell this. Smells so good. Yeah, smell it. That's what I'm trying to tell them. Some good shit. Yeah, nose bumps. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, good morning. Nose bump. All right, have a good one. All right, see ya. Ooh, the sun's finally out. Should start warming up soon. Go get that sun shirt my sun hat on. Yeah, beautiful Sunday morning. Hope you're not being fucking lazy today. Get your ass up and get outside and take a fucking walk. Move your shit, motherfuckers. Getting energized. Oh, yeah, I got something going on downtown today. A blueberry festival. Oh, I love blueberries. Let's go check it out. Wanna put your head in there? Good morning. Ooh, we're coming back for blueberries, for sure. I'll comply. Yeah, I love you. Good old Florida weather. 60 degrees at 7, 80 degrees at 8. Like sweating already. Get my sun hat. Okay, on you ready? Watch your foot. Here we go. Oh yeah. We're at about 5,000 steps. Close to that. Hey, look at that. You found a rainbow.
Oh, cheers to the healers. Get outside. All right, got some pep in my step. Leg muscles are all relaxed. Even my upper body's relaxed. Feels good. Yeah, it's a good nutrition to have if you suffer from arthritis and you lack movement because of discomfort and you need pep in your step with relief. It's a good nutrient to have. Vitamin THC with the CBD to follow it. Watch those spiders. All right, we're all warmed up. So we're hitting that gazebo, getting our daily stretch, get some push-ups, and uh, get more blood flowing. We're warmed up now. But let's get revved up. Link in the description below. Get yourself one of my cobs. Best smoking cob you'll ever have. Okay, just stay there one more second. We'll get the tail in and come up your ass. All right, come on, quit messing around with that gator. Meditation gazebo. For uh, those of you out there that don't understand meditation, what it is to meditate, all it is is breathing. You're, you're clearing your mind because you're only focusing on one to three things. Number one, breathing. Number two, staying still and being in tune with your body and uh, using that focus and breathing on what it is you're trying to, to do, which we're gonna show you. I'm about to stretch everything in my body. And I call this skate yoga. And uh, I put my body in every position that I would be in, good or bad, on a skateboard. So. If I'm ever to fall a certain way, I've already been twisted up and stretched, ready to take this fall. And uh, that's how I do it. And that's how I'm able to, you know, take a fucking beating like a man from concrete and get right the fuck up and do it again. You know, most people would be shattered. So uh, this is where strength comes in and supports and mobilizes your fucking whole body when you get earthquake shaked. So, uh, yeah, you don't understand meditation. Sit the fuck down, breathe, and uh, focus on one thing that you're doing. Do some push-ups and uh, focus on all the uh, muscles that you're using. If it hurts, put yourself in a different position. Don't hurt yourself. Um, you know, it doesn't have it. All it's going to be is something easy. So, yeah. very beneficial if you can just uh, do it for two fucking minutes and we're gonna do it for 10 minutes so it's uh super beneficial How's it? Easy meditation. Even Anya was meditating. 
didn't think about anything but just stretching and uh, and put my body in all these positions. And uh, yeah, fuck, I just did cardio and I didn't move. Yeah. Uh, feeling that. Feeling it everywhere. Even on you felt it, shit. All right. Take a chill second and get these steps going. We're revved up now. Let's go time. Whew, yeah. Feeling pumped up now, whole body. Ooh, there's a monster gator. Oh yeah, there's a little baby. The best part about walking is that, it is, is that it's a form of meditation. You just get lost looking at all this fucking beautiful shit, you know? Turn your fucking brain off. All this fucking shit you hear. All the stuff people try to put in your ear. Just turn it off. Fucking, you know, delete. For ten minutes. Go outside. Breathe. Look at all this shit. Don't think about none of that. Think about nothing but being. And it'll do wonders for you. Trust me. You know, I'm really talking to all you pipe smokers out there. Because, believe it or not, even if you're a you know, beginner, new, old, it's a form of meditation. It's a form of calmness. Let you, uh, ooh, snake, look out. Let you stop and focus on what's in front of you and what you're doing and what's important. You know, that's what is so incredible about the pipe. You know, just beautiful fucking pipe tobacco. Mmm. You guys had that night fire by OMS? God damn, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's the shit. That's got my name on it as soon as I start taking nicotine again. Which, uh, I'm gonna do a blood test probably next week. And uh, I'll have the results in probably four days. And if I'm looking good, it's pipe smoking time. You know, before I went in the hospital, my uh, ritual was every day I was doing something like this, just uh, more. And uh, my reward was my pipe at the end of the night. Sit in my, sit in my rocking chair on the back porch and uh, just enjoy it. I do miss that a lot. It's something that I need, but it's something that I can go without because I'm disciplined and I know what I'm trying to accomplish and that's to purify my blood and ensure that uh, it's okay for me to add a little bit of intoxication to it, you know? That's, uh, that's up to me and nobody else. Okay. My arm is hurting from holding this fucking phone because it's so pumped up. So back in the pocket. Gigantic monster fucking hill. This takes us straight to grandma's house. So we're going to stop by, say hi, give her a kiss. See if she wants to walk back downtown with us and uh, go see the blueberry fest. And I'll bring her back home. Knock on the door. Knock on the door. Go on, knock on the door. Go on.
was just telling my mom that yesterday I thought I was going to feel like just pure shit today and not be able to do anything and it was the complete opposite. Today is like one of the <clears throat> best days I've felt so far. Walking, all the uh, the slight cramp, gas, naughty pain minimized more than it was yesterday. Like I'm really only feeling it where the appendix was right now and in the belly button drain. The other side, yes, very little. But, uh, you know, besides my stomach being hard right there, it's uh, it's amazing. I'm, I'm now getting good, decent sleep. And uh, I'm just healing faster and faster with that good sleep. So, um, already at 10,000 steps. I'm not sure what time it is. It's still early. But, uh, I'm going to walk my mom downtown to that blueberry fest. She's going to get some blueberry jam. And uh, I'll pick my kimchi up, drop her off. Maybe we'll go to lunch. I don't know. We'll see. I'm feeling like some salmon and sweet potato today. Maybe a salad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool down. Cool down. Get some more water. How many lizards did you kill? Smell the jasmine. Yeah, it smells incredible. It's going good with that rosemary in my face. I don't know. I wouldn't wipe my ass with them, though. Yeah, they're all cool. Wow, check that one out. That's beautiful. Once a week. Okay. Yeah, we ran out of the little ones. And I tasted this yesterday. You get a bigger taste. And I came back today to get some. So fucking good. Interesting. Hey, what do you like? Flower? Do you like animals? Flower? Okay, right, right. Sativa. You have the purple pea. It's pretty Are purple. Medicinal? Uh, this is legal. It's all legal THC. So. You seen this blueberry? All the name of blueberries. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Right here. Would you like to try some of them? Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get you. Let's see if they come out. Oh, yeah. There you go. All there right. You go. Very pretty dog. When were they picked? These were picked yesterday from our farm in Houston. Oh damn, those are good. Off of 44. Sign me up. Let's get some blueberries. Hello. Hi. Alright, let's take grandma to lunch.
of those pickles. Got my kimchi, got some mushrooms. Oops, forgot to show you my salmon. <laughs> Here's what's left of my salmon. Okay, wait. Go play. That was a good lunch. Yeah. Oh yeah, got me a filet burger to go. Here's your kimchi oh, by the door. Yeah, I got everything. All right, I love you. Okay. Love you too. Come on. Thanks for the walk. Yeah, thank you for the walk. Mom took this up. All right. Love you. Go get Grandpa. Go get him. He's in here. Go get him. Go get him. Get him. Hey, I found a, uh, a nice stylus pen on my walk, so I picked it up for you, since you use them. Today's scores, local blueberries, local filet beef ground, local shrooms, local kimchi. Yummy. Anabolic protein French toast. Then local blueberries. Mm, that was a good nap. Yummy, yummy. Try some chicken and taters. Sweet potato chicken and mushrooms. Yummy, easy, and simple. Simple protein, simple carbohydrates. Simple muscle building. Strength. So funny, good. Man, that was a good dinner. Oh, dessert. All right, man. Today's nap was better than yesterday's nap. I even feel, I guess feel more rested. Definitely ready to go charge the sunset walk. 
Probably be about the same as last night. We already got like 17,000 steps, so. Going to uh, get some, uh, gonna get some relief in my joints, get some movement going. A little pep in the step. Kill this 20K. All right, get a good night's sleep. Wake up, see what tomorrow's got for us. It's gonna be another day, and it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a different day. No, no two days are the same over here. Sunset stepping.